Ozempic, it is literally the hottest drug in the country right now. But what happens when you stop taking it? Ozempic is part of a class of medications called GLP-1 agonists, and they are really important, safe, and effective for people with type 2 diabetes. But about 10 years ago, in the world of obesity medicine, it was discovered, as we do with a lot of medications, that there is a side effect may be beneficial, and we're talking about the side effect of weight loss. Fast forward, one of these medications recently was FDA approved for specifically weight loss for people who are obese or overweight. And of course, like many medications, they are also used off-label specifically and exclusively and deliberately to affect weight loss. These are usually injections. They're given uh, by the individual, by the patient. In the belly is mo the most common location once a week. These medications are generally well tolerated, but one of the ways in which they work is by slowing the emptying of the stomach. So one of the side effects, not surprisingly, can be GI, nausea, in some cases even vomiting as diarrhea or bowel issues and in rare cases pancreatitis and inflammation of the pancreas and these drugs do carry a black box warning for a rare type of thyroid cancer so what happens if someone were to take one of these medications like Ozempic, lose some weight, and then discontinue or stop taking the medication? Obviously, it's variable. It's not one size fits all, and individual results and long-term results will tend to vary. But in general, we have to remember that the conditions of overweight and obesity are complex chronic disorders that have a multitude of factors leading to them. Behavior is one of them, environment, genetics, even other medications that may be associated with weight gain are a big part of the picture. So if you remove one of those variables, in this case a medication that has been helpful in, in achieving weight loss, it is possible, if not likely, that the person will regain some or all or even more of the weight that they've lost. It depends on how much was lost in the first place, and it depends on the person and their individual specific factors.